Hello everyone, so today we are going to be reviewing Jonathan Davis' first solo album, Black Rapper. Um, for all you guys who don't know, Jonathan Davis is the frontman and, uh, I guess lead singer, you know, of the new metal band Korn, and I'm pretty sure they don't need an introduction. So, I think we're just going to get straight into the album. Um, so, I'm going to start off by asking what genre of music this is, because I can't answer that question. Um, if anybody actually watches this, feel free to post it down in the comments if I had to take a guess. Okay, so I guess the best way to describe the sound of this album is, it's like corn, but if you took all of the knit and grit and all the heavy parts out of corn. Now, whatever genre you think that would be, is whatever genre this, um, this project is. Um... So yeah, I think we're just gonna have to get right into it. Uh, this album is not that good. <laughs> um, it's plagued with lazy songwriting. Since the, they use so many of the same song structures, I shouldn't say they, Jonathan Davis does. Use so many of the same song structures, the same vocal melodies, like the exact same vocal melodies on several different songs. Um, which Korn also does, so which I, I think it's really weird because this is this music sounds oddly like Korn, um, and just th there also there's like a really samey sound on this album. A lot of the songs sound very similar to each other on this album, especially in the first half of the album. I was like, really? These are different songs. Like, if I wasn't listening to it through a YouTube video, and it was just playing it through it on the record, I just shut my eyes. Like, and I wasn't paying that much of an, I wasn't paying that much attention, I would be like, kind of hard pressed to figure out where one song ended and one song began. Um, because everything sounds really similar on this. Um, also, everything sounds similar. It wouldn't be that bad if, the, if everything was good on here. But so many of the songs on here are just boring and generic, quite frankly. Um, like, I, I don't really have any examples off the top of my head because just think of the whole album and there you go. There's nothing about this album that, that even was like, that came close to blowing me away. There's, I was very disappointed upon listening to this. It's kind of shocking just how boring and bland this is. I'm not the biggest fan of Korn, but I do like some of their music. And I have to say, Korn is leagues and like, it's just so much better than this. Um, another really big complaint I had for this album is that the guitars sound awful. I don't know what Jonathan Davis was thinking or what the producer was thinking. If I don't like, I don't know how much like uh, the choice Jonathan Davis had in the guitar sounds. I'm not quite sure. Um, but the guitars sound like shit. Like it's like they sound so like 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 fuzzy and muffled, and like you just can't get a clear tone out of them. And if that's what you guys like, if that's what Jonathan Davis wanted out of the project, I mean that's fine, I guess. I just think it sounds like absolute dog crap. And um, I'm really happy that the guitars were not front and center on this album whatsoever, because if they were, it probably would have ruined the album even more for me, just considering how bad they sounded. Um, yeah, just, to get into a bit of the individual songs here, The Secret is probably my least favorite track on the whole album. It just takes everything I said before, the bad guitar sounds, well, not really the guitar sounds, but it takes, like, the, the genericness and the song structure issues I brought up earlier, and just cranks them up to 11. The song is so bad, and it's so weird. Because you go in the comment section of the song, you're like, oh my goodness, this is like the second best song on the album except for this song, or you know, this is my favorite song off the album. And uh, I just don't understand how people can like it. I think it's very bad. I think this whole album is not very good whatsoever. Uh, and overall, I think a general trend for the album is that just the softer the album is, you know, like the less heavy it is, which it never gets that heavy, but it can get very soft at some points. Um, but the softer it goes, the worse it gets. I don't think Jonathan Davis can write super soft music that well, I guess. Uh, or maybe he's capable of it and he just didn't show it on this record. And again, if they do something like that in Korn, I'm not a huge fan of Korn, so I don't listen to their music. I've never listened to a full Korn album all the way through. I do know some of their songs, and some of them are fine. I've seen them live, too. They're a fine band. Um, 
Yeah, but I guess I'll get into the couple things on here that I thought were okay. Um, there's some light industrial influences on the album, and where those are, the songs get kind of bearable, I think. Um, not amazing or anything, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, you know, like, this is like an industrial act or anything and it's great. No, there are just some little industrial influences here and there littered on the album um, that I thought make the album pretty okay. Uh, and then the other thing that I thought was really cool in this album, actually, is there was also some, like, tribal influences, you know, like, Sepultura's Roots, you know, that whole album. Some, like, tribal drumming, tribal instrumentalism, stuff like that. So, overall, things that sound, you know, like, not Western in nature, they sound like a primitive tribe, and, you know, maybe South America or Africa would have written it. And I think that those also sound pretty cool. They don't fix the songs that they're in, though. Um, and, ooh, yeah, this album, man. I don't really have much more to say about it, I'm just listening to the whole thing and it's just so bad. Um, the only song that I could say I actually liked, and it's not that much of a like, uh, the only song I can say I liked though is the song Basic Needs. It was an okay song. Um, I mean nothing great or anything, but the song was fine for sure. Um, I mean the production overall except for the guitars on the album, sorry I forgot to mention this earlier. The production overall is fine. I think Jonathan Davis' vocals are a bit too loud, but that's honestly kind of to be expected. It's about Jonathan Davis, this whole album. Is. It's his album, he's gonna be the star of it. Um, but yeah, this some of my least favorite tracks on this are The Secret, which is the worst song on the album, and it's really bad, I think. Happiness, uh, Tell Me, just those songs. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm not overstating it whenever I say they are extremely bad. Um and I can't give this thing a good overall score. I think overall this thing is a three out of ten for me. Which on my scale is considered to be a bad album. Nothing on this album is particularly good. Nothing on this album particularly blows me away. It's a bunch of generic to even bad songs with lazy songwriting with cool influences here and there but overall I just can't get into this thing uh, tell me why I'm wrong down in the comments and why you love this album if you loved it if you didn't love it tell me why I was right um, I'll make sure I respond to all of them anyways guys have a good one